mom is often asked about housebreaking because many people struggle with this. Housebreaking is not complicated. It involves some common sense and a little human math. First thing you need to know about housebreaking a dog of any age is that we do best when you establish a regular routine. Don't feed us or take us out at different times each day. We need a stable routine to help us understand what you're asking of us and then we need to figure out a way to communicate to you when we need to take care of business. Let's start with puppies and human math. You just brought home that cute little puppy, but he just pees everywhere. Here's where the math comes in. Let's say your puppy is two months old. Take the age of your puppy and add one to that and you get the approximate number of hours your puppy can hold his pee. So in this case, two plus one means that your two month old puppy can go for a max of three hours without peeing. A three month old puppy can hold it for up to four hours and so forth. Dogs in general can hold it up for up to 10 hours max, some longer, but let's not talk about those freaks. Of course, there are more factors to this simple equation that will decide whether your two month old puppy can hold it for the three hours or not. Those factors are food, including treats, water, nap time, and play time. Not only do you need to keep a regular routine for potty time every day, but you also need to keep a regular routine for feeding. Your two month old puppy will need to poop about 10 minutes after every meal. So if you let him eat when he wants, he'll be a poop machine. A treat after every pee or poop in your designated area, outside or on a pee pee pad will not affect this routine. However, feeding many treats because your puppy asks for them will become a problem in housebreaking. We all need water, but it's a good idea to restrict access to water about an hour before bedtime. We need to pee a lot more often than pooping. Here are the pee-pee rules for a puppy. Puppies need to pee when they wake up from a nap or from sleeping during the night. They need to pee shortly after drinking water and during or after playtime. If you think about it, that's almost all the time, since all puppies ever do is play, sleep, eat, drink, and start all over again. An example of a daily routine might look like this. Wake up in the morning, probably puppy will have you up very early. Take puppy outside to pee. Bring puppy back in and feed puppy. Mmm, food. Puppy eats, drinks, then wants to start playing, but you take him outside again to do his business. Understand that puppies have a very short attention span, so keep him outside until you can actually see him do his thing. I don't know why you humans need to leave your dogs to go to work, school, or run errands, but if you do, it's a good idea to put puppy in a crate or a confined area. When you get back home, you need to take puppy out again. In the evening, you feed puppy and then take him out to do poop and do playtime and pee and finally sleep again. The next day, you start all over again. Something you probably don't know about us is that our birth mom shows us how to be clean. So, when you bring home your new puppy, he's already clean. He just doesn't know where to go, which is why you need to help him. Now, what do I mean when I say we're already clean when you bring us home? Well, we're taught to pee and poo in the most absorbent material around, which is usually your carpet. How do you prevent your new puppy from peeing on your carpet? Mom explains it so well. She tells her clients to imagine they have a one-year-old child. Would you allow a one-year-old child to walk around your house unsupervised? Then why would you consider letting your two-month-old puppy walk around your house unsupervised? Puppy will sniff the floor when he needs to go pee, and this is his way of telling you he needs to go. So if you're not watching him, you'll miss his demand, and he might have an accident. Dogs are den animals. This means that we love enclosed spaces as long as we don't see them as a punishment. My mom tells people that a cage or crate is a great tool to have when housebreaking. When you're watching TV or making yourself dinner, you're not physically watching your child, so you put them in a playpen. A cage or crate for us is the same thing and makes us feel safe even though it might not seem like it in the beginning with all the crying puppies do. If you follow what I've said and you see a wet spot on your carpet or floor, it's not the puppy's fault, it's yours. You need to be asking yourself where you were when the puppy did this. On your phone, looking out the window, distracted by something else? You can't correct a dog that has an accident if you can't catch him in the pee position and actually see the pee coming out. If you see the wet spot 
and he's already walking away, then it's too late to do anything. And it's your fault. I know I'm harsh, but hey, I'm a dog, and I'm telling it how it is. When you use a cage or crate for housebreaking, this makes the process go so much faster when paired with a regular feeding routine. Understand though, that when you open the cage door and let your puppy out, he'll need to pee real bad. So the best trick is to pick him up and carry him outside, or he might have an accident on the way to the door. And again, this is not his fault. When housebreaking an adult dog, you'd use the same methods as for a puppy, but you won't need to pick the dog up to bring him outside. And an adult dog can hold it already longer than a puppy, but not as long as a trained adult. The rule for housebreaking an adult dog is to start at six hours and work your way up from there. As the dog gets used to a stable routine, he'll be able to hold it for longer periods much faster than a puppy. Sometimes in adult dogs, if your dog has an accident and he was already housebroken, it could be a medical condition and you should have him checked by a vet. Females, more often than males, can get urinary infections or your dog could have an underlying disease that's causing him to pee when it's not time. If you've taken your dog to the vet and he doesn't have any underlying medical problems and you still can't get him housebroken, then you should contact a reputable dog trainer near you. Older dogs can sometimes get incontinence. There are diapers for dogs available for this problem or speak with your vet for medical options if available.